Training your Hydrolux system isn't as hard it seems. I'm not very experienced in myself, but I'm gonna show you just how easy it is. And after that, I'm gonna show you how to refill it. So stick around, you'll be one step closer to learning how your PC works. So why would you want to drain your PC? Well, maybe you want to change the fluid color of the PC, although we don't always recommend this because it requires a full flush of the system because you don't want the old color to mix with the new. It can be extremely tedious and it's not always 100% clean flush. Or maybe you just want to practice proper maintenance of your digital storm PC. Whatever the case, I'm going to show you how to do it and how easy it can be. Just some quick background on the parts we use. We use quick disconnect fittings on all our Hydrolux builds. This basically allows for a quicker part removal without having the liquid spill everywhere. And basically how this works is with a male and female end. The female has larger rings on the outside and all you have to do is just click it in. To release it, pull on the female and it'll come out. Now, when you actually release these quick disconnects, you gotta do it quickly so it doesn't spill everywhere, but don't pull in too aggressively where it can damage the fittings or the tubing. Okay, so I'm gonna work on three different types of hydraulic systems. Here's one of them. So hopefully this video covers everybody's needs. And all you're gonna need is this drain tube, some paper towels, a blower is not necessary, but it can help a lot. And of course, a tub to catch all the liquid. Okay, so let's start with this hydrolux system. We call this our box fish reservoir because it's shaped like a box. We normally include it in our mid tower cases like our Lynx, Lumos, and even Velox. And on our newer builds, we'll include this drain port on the bottom. It's shaped like a tiny L. And we'll also include this draining tube. Okay, so there's actually two methods to drain the system. You can either drain the reservoir completely or drain the entire system. And I'm gonna show you how to do both. But first, you wanna make sure that nothing's plugged into the PC, especially if the power supply is turned off. Now, let's start padding the area with some paper towels just in case there's any drips. Okay, so with the paper towels down, now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna take this draining tube, connect the female end to the male end at the bottom of the reservoir to begin the drain. Also, as soon as you pair any quick disconnects, the fluid will immediately start flowing. So just be aware of that. Also, I forgot to mention, there's a cap at the top of the reservoir that you need to unplug. So just make sure you do that as well. Okay, so to release it, just pull on the rings on the female and there you go, you drain the reservoir. All right, so the second method can seem a bit more difficult, but I believe in you guys, so let's check it out. So I'm gonna remove the GPU cables for now so it's easier to access. Okay, so from here, all we have to do is find a quick disconnect point like this, unplug it, and then plug in our draining tube. Okay, so again, when you connect the drain tubes, just make sure it goes into opposite ends. So male to female and male to female. And don't forget to put the cap back on the reservoir because we wanna create a vacuum for this next step. Okay, so I'm gonna connect this female to this male end. And then this part is technically not needed, but it's gonna make things a lot easier. So let's just connect this. Okay, so this is when the blower will come in handy. What I'm gonna do is blow air into the highest point so the fluid can flow out the lowest point. Okay, so when you use the blower, just create a seal with your hand around the fitting and just be aware of what you're doing. You don't wanna to apply too much force into the computer and just be aware of any splashes. And just like that, we've drained the system. Now what you can do next is add distilled water, cycle it through, drain it, use the same method. It's a bit tedious, but some people like to change the fluid with something different. But that's how you drain the Spock Fish Hydrolux. So now I'm gonna show how to refill it. Okay, to refill the liquid, all I gotta do is disconnect this drain tube and this male fitting. And then I just reconnect everything. Once I have the loop back to its original form, I'm gonna unscrew the cap off the top of the reservoir again and begin filling at the top with a squeeze bottle. All right, so here's the process to refill the PC. I'm gonna stick the funnel into the reservoir and I'm gonna fill it up. And then I'm gonna turn the PC on to let it cycle through all the parts. As it's cycling, I'm gonna continue filling until it's about 80% full and then I'm gonna cap it off. If you disconnected anything, make sure to plug it back in before turning your PC on. Okay, so I have my funnel in the reservoir and now I'm gonna fill it up. Now with the reservoir full, I'm gonna turn the PC on to let it cycle through the parts. And as it's cycling, I'm gonna continue to fill it up. There you go, you filled up your PC with zero drips. Now just cap off the reservoir, clean up your area, and you're finished. You just drained and replaced the fluid in your PC. Let's move on to the next one. And here is our next Hydrolux system, a Bolt X. Now to drain the system, we don't actually drain the reservoir, we just drain the entire loop together. And to do that, we use the same method. You find the quick disconnect point, unplug it, 
plug in our female and male draining tubes, and then we're good to go. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So same as before, pat the area with some paper towels just in case there's any drips. Now I'm gonna unplug this quick disconnect. I'm gonna get my draining tube and tub ready. And then now I'm gonna connect the draining tubes. Okay, so just like before, I'm gonna create a seal with my hand and I'm gonna use a blower to blow in the highest point so it can come out the lowest point. And as simple as that, you just drain your bolt X. So now let's refill it. Okay, so just like before, I'm gonna reconnect this loop so we can fill it back up. Filling up a Hydrolux bolt is actually a little bit tricky. Because of the way the reservoir is positioned, we need to flip the bolt on its side to fill. So what I'm gonna do is flip the bolt on its side with the power supply outlet pointing downward. And you can either do this on the edge of a table like this, or you can use a sturdy Ryzen box to prop it up like this. Now to refill the bolt, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a 90 degree fitting and this fill tube. And if you don't have any of these, please contact our customer support so we can send one out to you. So what we're gonna do is on the side of the reservoir, there's a fill cap. We're gonna remove that cap, attach the 90 to the reservoir, and then attach the fill tube to the 90. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so to remove the fill cap, you might need a flathead to just kind of loosen it up. Now with the fill cap removed, now we can attach our 90. Now with the 90 on the reservoir, we can attach the fill tube to the 90. Now when you fill it up, you just wanna be patient with it. It might actually take some time for the liquid to settle into the reservoir, but just keep filling it up until the glass window is full. All right, so with my reservoir full, here's my next step. I'm gonna plug in the power cable for the PC and I'm gonna turn it on to let the liquid cycle through all the parts. And as it's cycling, the liquid level in the reservoir will drop a little bit, but that's fine. As it's dropping, I'm gonna continue filling with the PC powered on until the reservoir is full again. And just a quick tip, if you're filling it and you have liquid stuck in the tube like this and it's not going down to the reservoir, just dump it out. All right, so with my power cable plugged in, I'm gonna turn the PC on. Then I'm gonna continue filling until the reservoir is full. And just like that, you refilled your Boltex with fresh new fluid. Now all you gotta do is remove the fill tube, cap it off, and we just finished draining, refilling the Boltex. Everything's looking good, no drips. Let's move on to the next system. Finally, we have the Aventamex. Now don't let the size and look intimidate you. Draining and refilling this is actually very easy. And all you're gonna need is two drain tubes with two female fittings and a blower. Now I'm gonna show you how to tackle this. So on all of our vent tubs right next to the reservoir, we have four quick disconnect points and you'll see four tubes going directly into those ports. Now to get started, all you gotta do is remove those four ports like I showed you before. But on this particular system that uses Hardline, we're gonna have to remove the two quick disconnects on the CPU as well. But if you're using flex tubing, all you gotta do is the four ports on the side. If you have any cables or wires in the way like this, just make sure to unplug it and tuck it away so it doesn't get in your way. And as always, don't forget to add your paper towels so you don't risk any water damage. Okay, so with my cables out of the way and my towels down, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the first and second tubes. And if you have hard line like these, just go ahead and swing these out of the way and just let it hang. Now for the hard line CPU tubes like this, make sure to remove both ends completely before moving on to the next one. Just like this. So with our four ports free, now we can plug in our drain tubes. And if you count from top to bottom as one, two, three, four, when we plug in our drain tubes, you wanna go one and three, drain it, and then two and four and drain it. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. With my tub in place, I'll plug the first drain tube into the very top one, which we'll call number one. Now with my second drain tube, I'm gonna have this end in the tub and then plug it into number three. So I did have to empty out my tub because I was creating some splashes, but be aware of that for yourself. But with my two drain tubes in place, I'm just gonna apply the same blower method as I showed you before. So create the seal, apply pressure at the top so it come out the bottom. So not too much liquid came out of this configuration of one and three, which is fine. I'm gonna switch these over to two and four and then apply the same method. So I'm gonna unplug number one and put it into number two. Now I'm gonna unplug number three and put it into number four. Okay, so with this two four configuration, I'm just gonna apply the same method. And 
just as easy as that, we've just drained the entire loop, which includes the radiators and the reservoir. But if you notice, we still have some liquid inside these water blocks and those tubes. So I'll show you how to drain those. So let's start with these tubes. We have two female fittings on here, so all we need is just one male fitting to release the liquid. And same with this one. And for the GPU blocks, I'm gonna use two male fittings to go on each of these female fittings. And then I'm gonna use a blower method to get the liquid out. I'm gonna elevate my tub with my trusty Ryzen box just to kind of eliminate the splashes. Now I'm gonna gently rotate this tube downwards for the liquid to come out. For this tube, I'm gonna gently rotate it upwards. Okay, so my first male fitting will go on top. And then the second male fitting will go on the bottom. So now I'm going to use the same blower method to get the rest of the liquid out. And now we've completely drained this Aventamex. So all we got to do now is remove these drain tubes, reconnect everything, and then refill it. So with my loop reconnected, all I got to do is remove the cap on top of the reservoir to start the refill. So an event time will usually take two of these bottles to fill up completely, but as long as the reservoir is full while the PC is running, you should be good. So just how we refilled the systems before, I'm going to stick the funnel into the reservoir, I'm going to fill it up, I'm going to turn the PC on, let it cycle through all the parts, and then I'm going to continue filling until that reservoir is full. Alright, here we go. All right, now I'm gonna turn it on and continue filling. And now we just drained and refilled our Ventimex. So now all we gotta do is just clean off the PC, cap it off, and we're good. Okay, so let's recap and go over some important points. The quick disconnects we used is to specifically make the draining and maintenance process easier. These parts is also key to how to properly drain your Hydrolux system. Again, to start off, just make sure everything is disconnected from the back panel. Make sure the power supply is turned off. Then just locate a quick disconnect point inside the loop, remove it and connect the male and female fittings. After the drain is complete, just reconnect everything and then refill through the reservoir. So I know it might seem intimidating to drain a PC, but just use this video as a guide. And remember that our customer support staff is always here to help. So if you're too worried about it, give us a call and we'll be more than happy to help you out. That's what we're here to do. So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you learned a little bit more about how to maintain your PC. Leave a comment down below if you wanna see more troubleshooting videos like this. We'll be very interested to see what you all need help on. And of course, please like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this, or if you wanna actually see us build this type of PC. All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.